Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your May 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. What does help me the most is actually when you like it and when you share it. Because while I hear people say like, oh, I don't share it because I don't know how many of my friends are Sagittarians. What is important is if the if the messages, you know, um, resonate with you. Who knows who they resonate with? So please, please, please share these videos widely. This is a free service, so help me out here. Okay, Sagittarians, what we will do here? We will look at your overall energy for the month of May for your sign. Before we then look into the emotional core, which is about what needs to heal, if love is coming in, what can what advice you can get there. And then we go into your opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of May 2022. And opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. Right? Why do I always say financially? It sounds sounds wrong. Financially. Financially. It sounds like two words. <sighs> okay, anyway. <laughs> you ready? Let's have a look. Sagittarians. You have, interesting, um, you have embracing enthusiasm. Right, and it means in order for anything to work this month, you have to go like, yeah, life is bloody awesome, especially when you're not feeling it. For decades, I say to people, you know, I have this mantra: I wake up in the morning, I'm like, I'm awesome, and it's not ego; it's just fun, and it cracks me up. And um, therefore, my energy is higher from the get-go. And when the energy is higher, no matter what shit hits me, it's much harder for anything. To break me, if that makes sense. So this is what I'm getting for you. Embracing enthusiasm is like, yeah, I'm going to have a good day despite the odds, right? If you feel the odds are against you or if you are in a situation that is really painful, um, difficult to deal with, I get all this, right? And you are allowed to have really shitty days. But the best thing to do is not to make shitty days a habit, right? The hardest thing for anyone who isn't well is to do anything to get the energy better, right? So tell yourself a joke, right? If you don't find things funny, go back in time, play a song um, from from a time when you had no care in the world, right? And then just hum that song in your head. You will notice what the difference is make, it makes when you allow yourself to have less inhibitions than what you have been told, right? Don't show up, uh, don't don't act up in public, don't be silly. Yes, be fucking silly. Why not? There is no law against you having fun, especially if it's inside your head. I get it. It would be weird if you're an Asta and you go like, oh, do you really want to hurt me, right? Give me time. But it, yes, I get it. It's weird. But other than the fact that people say, like, what the fuck's wrong with this one, right? It would crack you up. I do that occasionally. I sometimes go into aisles and I just break out in singing a motorhead song and it clears the aisles <laughs> um, magically uh, quite fast. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make here with you and with your overall energy is that the guides are saying to you, unless you're enthusiastic about life, we cannot send you anything that really triggers your enthusiasm. You can't wait for outside elements to be excited about life. Okie dokie. Now, let's go into your um, emotional core. Let's see what you got there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so, so I'm just silly. Sagittarius, you have passion and pleasure. Right? Mm. So, yes, sounds very sexual. Maybe it is. Good luck to you. What the guides are saying to you is, and this is, you can see, this is sort of um, a continuation of your overall energy. It's like, obviously, anything to do with, 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 with attracting love, be passionate about who you want to be with, right? Um, feel pleasure in, in being with other people and getting a weird thing, right? You can also self-pleasure just to get to take the edge off when you have a shit day. What is this reading turning into? <laughs> I'm not even apologizing, I only work here. The point the guides are making is you have passion, passion and pleasure with regards to your uh, emotional core. And the saying is if you allow yourself to sort of savor your life and go like, yeah, it's awesome. That's also how you rekindle stale relationships. Um, 
and where you also attract much easier because if your energy is high, people will pay attention to you, right? Okay? So, yeah, I do get sexual hints for passion and pleasure. So maybe that is the month where you, um, you know, try and, 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 you know, open up again to probably um, allowing a relationship to go to a more intimate place because it is in intimate relationships where we learn the most, right? Maybe it's time you trust again. Okay, so Sagittarians, let's look at the um, the opportunities as to present themselves to you in the month of May 2022. So, this is one of those weird, really spiritual cards. And I love spiritual cards, but it always feels a bit over the top. Because you have this love flow through you and to you, voyage of the heart. What that means is that anything... And everything you do that sustains you financially, see, I said financially, not financially, get in there. You have to feel it. Allow yourself to acknowledge and assess if you're really in the right place before you're hoping for new opportunities to actually come to you. Right? That was a very short reading, Sagittarians. That's all I got for you. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I see you all next month. Alrighty. See you then, Satis. Bye.